Welcome to another episode of HashMap Megabytes. My name is Venkat and I'm here to show you how to run dbt on Azure Container Instance. This project has been provided in GitLab under the name dbt on Azure. It comes with all the code bases that there is necessary. So basically when you run want to run dbt, which is a popular data processing pipeline tool used for various data transformations, it needs a compute environment, and that compute environment typically is hosted up in a virtual machine or it's part of an Airflow operator and whatnot. During my various engagements with various clients, this is not necessarily the case. Not all clients are hosting up a Kubernetes server or an Airflow instances and whatnot. So for um, in such scenarios, Azure Container Instance which is a way whereby you can run Docker images is a popular approach that can be adopted. And pre-built Docker images is hosted up with dbt necessary base uh, code, which is the dbt library is packaged up and hosted up in an Azure container instance. A trigger, which can be a logic app or a timer base or ADF functions can instantiate and make a call to instantiate an Azure Container instance with a specific dbt set of command lines to run. When these gets instantiated, the Azure Container instance is being parameterized to inform the locations where the dbt project is hosted up. In a typically in a file share and it would also with the key vault which contains the necessary connection information of the data store for which dbt is needed to connect to and do its operations so when the azure aci gets started up it pulls the docker image from the acr which executes a bunch of scripts and part of the script is to pull the dbt project which is hosted up in a file share and run the dbt process as it is in this demo this code base model does come with the dbt project but it's simulation in the sense it doesn't do anything other than just doing a dbt list and waiting for a one minute uh, unnecessary sleep time so for this project to get deployed i have supplied various Terraform scripts. You can look in the documentation, which contains the necessary installation procedures and whatnot, which walks you through the necessary settings to have this deployed. When the Terraform gets deployed, these are the various resources that gets deployed. You will have an Azure Container Registry which contains the packaged image the storage account which has a file share where the dbt project the sample dbt project is also gets also deployed and an azure container instance with the necessary con base configuration is also set up so let's simulate the triggering what happens so when you start when an instance triggers an Azure container, what happens is that this instance is prepackaged with a dbt project or um, dbt docker images, as I mentioned. So the first is that it goes and gets it from the ACR. So as you can see, the status has changed to waiting, whereby it is downloading the images from the ACR. You can also look at the logs as when things pop up. The ACR, since dbt doesn't need, uh, most of the work is done by the cloud data warehouse. It goes with the lowest configuration that there is, with the one CPU and a one gig memory. This was the lowest that I could find for ACI, and it goes with that. So this container instance, if you look at the um, thing, um, properties, it connects to Key Vault, 
um, with the necessary URLs and it runs a specific dbt command which is packaged as part of the shell script and it runs on the resource groups. So all these things have been parameterized. It does take about a minute or so to pull the images. Once a container is created, you can see that execution has started. It pulls the dbt project itself from the uh, storage account and it unzips them as you can walk through the output over here. It also, what it does is that it's also able to connect to the key vault where we have stored all the necessary information. In this case, I'm trying to simulate something connecting to Snowflake account. So it pulls in the Snowflake account name, the username, the password, the warehouse roles and whatnot. And it pulls that out and prints over here. Right now in this demo, we are not actually connecting, but we are just trying to simulate. So once it is done, it starts up the necessary command line of whatever the dbt pipeline model that you want to run. I'm simulating a dummy wait time of a minute. And once it's uh, completed, it has finished, that state has become terminated, and you look back, it gets succeeded also. To help also, to give an example of how to walk through using the uh, a Azure Data Factory, an Azure Data Factory instance pre-built with, um, with the pipeline is already being configured. This is a sample run. It does the same thing where it pulls the, uh, the necessary secrets from the key vault and it starts the Azure Container instance, executes the pipeline and it finishes. So there you go, folks, you have ADF, triggering an ACI running a DBT in Azure. If you wanted a similar approach to be done in, um, in AWS, I've also had an another article slash a repo that's done presented over here on AWS Fargate. Thank you for listening to this megabyte.